Hello there, dear viewers. This is Trestle242, and it's time for another episode of Jurassic World Evolution. Now, as you can see, one of the dinosaurs, Roxanne the Brachiosaurus, I have had to move her and tranquilize her since she was getting very antsy. Um, there was a enlarged the this enclosure. I made it very big so that all the dinosaurs can be happy because it turns out that for instance, the Ankylodocus is very easy going. The Camarasaurus wants a lot of forest. And the Brachiosaurus want a lot of grassland. And only now have I managed to make it so that everyone will be happy. However, in the Hammond laboratory we have another Brachiosaurus that I'm going to release now. It's so beautiful, I love it. Oh, I just love looking at these sauropods, I think they're wonderful. They're so majestic. It's a bit of a shame that they get hidden by this sort of safety. And now we'll just do the classic move of, well, first we need to name this lovely lady. Her name is going to be Magda. Okay, Magda. Hello. Hello, darling. Now we're going to tranquilize her and then transport her. It's much easier than... It's much easier to just tranquilize and then transport than, you know, trying to... ...get her to just walk outside because she doesn't like walking. Oh, and the Taurosaurus! It looks like... They look, it looked like they were playing! That was so cute! They were running around! Okay, that was adorable! Yeah, that's one thing I liked about this game. It just, I just love watching the dinosaurs. It's so much fun to watch them, you know, go around them. Ooh. Ooh, that does not look comfortable. Good thing we're transporting you to a nice big enclosure. Yes, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Like that. Lots of other sauropods who can be your friends as well. Both these Camarasauruses, which are much much smaller, and these big big Brachiosauruses. I just realized I haven't put in a gate into this enclosure. Um, is there any place I can put it? Why would it be obstructed if I put it there? Sometimes the way building in this game works, I don't understand it. I think it's it's very strange. Well, I guess technically they can get in that way. Hmm. Okay, we have Magda, and now we have this little guy, Stiggy Moloch. The one we spent last episode trying to get. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> What a cute little noise. Oh, what a precious creature. What a little darling. Yeah, you're a cute one, aren't you? I think it is easiest to open the gate. We have our little Stigmolok! You are adorable, my friend. Their name means Demon of the River Styx. And I think that's a very unfair name because it looks adorable. It's so cute. 
Your name is going to be Odetta. Hello there, Odetta. Yeah, going ahead. That's a good girl. And we need another Brachiosaurus. Let's see if I can modify the genome a little bit. We have one with the step pattern. We can try one with the wetlands pattern. And they also need another study Moloch. Ah, oh, they're so cute. They, just like the Drake Rex, turn out to be the juvenile forms of the Pachycephalosaurus. Which I think at least is quite easy to see if you just look at this one. Let's see, we have the step, the arid, and the wetlands. Um, we can try with the step patterning. Increased bone density will make it very resilient, which I think is a good thing. But I'm not going to, you know, tweak it too much. I think this is just fine. I would very much like another Steve Moloch, please. Ooh, and I love that you can see that they're wet from the rain. That's gorgeous. There are so many nice details in this game. Now, where is our little Studio Moloch running around? Where are you, little friend? Where did you go? The problem with these small dinosaurs is that if they want to hide in the trees, it's almost impossible to see them. And let's turn on the map. There we are. She's hiding in the bushes. Yes, I can see her here. Okay, she's very sad. She needs friends. Who How many friends? Okay, social group 4 to 12. Wow, yeah, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I'm sorry. You're going to get some friends soon, though. Don't worry about that. This is such a strange island, I'm not used to not having the contracts. There we go, one little friend. Another one of these cute pies. They are just so precious, look at them. You can see that they are baby Pachycephalosauruses as well, because they have that big bone that big you know bone shape on their head and what will your name be little one let's see what the random name generator says your name is going to be Jaslyn okay and I think she's she heard that there was another Stegi Moloch over here. So if I can just... I want to click on the gate. And the tall feeder needs refilling. So if they can please go and do that. Come on girly. Don't worry. Yeah, that's a good girl. And I'll close the gate just now. So now we have two of the Stiggy Molochs, but we need more for them to be happy. And I'm going to see if I can choose a different skin for this one. I've tried the step. How about the arid? I am a bit miffed about that I cannot place the 
gates anywhere here it's just so weird I, I don't get it why why can't I just it usually snaps to the fence why would I want to build a gate in the middle of nowhere it's it's like the gate um thing has become bugged or something I, I don't know I don't understand it I think it's very weird But yep, there we are. The tall feeder is replenished, which is very good. And I've been thinking maybe I should offer a bit of a hamster ball thing so that people can go and watch our ceratosauruses. Why are they sad? Oh, they don't have enough grassland. Well, that's fine. I shall fix that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Good. No, don't. Do not. Okay, good. And we have... Ooh, we can release our third Brachiosaurus. Let's do that. Releasing her at night. looks very dramatic, you know, silhouetted against the night sky like this. Oh, that's just gorgeous. That's beautiful. Now that we've got a good distribution of animals, I want to get a photographic record of how they interact with one another. Be sure to get me images of the Ankylodocus. Who said science couldn't be sexy, huh? <laughs> Come on, girl. Go on out there, and your name is going to be Kamala. Yeah, you're a very good girl. You you can do that without even having to get tranquilized. Go on. Just go through the gate. I know. It's probably a bit weird and scary. I don't want to squish her tail by closing the gate. There we go. Now I can close it. And now it's time to release our... Is this our third Stigmolok? I think it is. Yes. And your name will be Camellia. I just think it's basically false advertising. Because this thing is adorable. I don't know why I would name a dinosaur something so, you know, evil sounding when it's just a tiny little cutie pie. Come on. Yeah, good girl. Run out. Meet your friend. And let's see, do we need more? Yeah, we need more. So just one more Stiggy Moloch. This time with the wetlands patterning. And then I just need to send the ranger in here and take a photograph of our hybrid dinosaur drinking 
which should be quite easy. I'll just, you know, stay waiting by the water basically and wait until one of them drinks. It's a very peaceful objective. Typically, Dr. Wu only wants dinosaurs to fight. But I'm glad that he doesn't. However, Perhaps going on some expeditions might be useful. Hmm, okay, so building a hotel might be good. I want the Dreadnought though, since it's absolutely massive. Kind of amazing, it's this enormous sauropod. And I like the Kentrosaurus because I think it looks cool. It's a sort of spiky little dude. Okay, soon we have a final Stegemolok friend. You're adorable. You're a cutie pie. And your name is going to be Danielle. Hello, Danielle. Oh, there is. Oh, they're talking. That's so cool. That is so cool. That's amazing. Yep, go on. I just need to close the gate. Okay, we have slightly more than the Torosaurus is comfortable with. It's feeling overcrowded. That's that's. That's, that's a bit of a shame. Well then, I need to send in a reindeer. We don't technically need to top up that feeder, but you know. Oh wow, so much money. Look at that. Now when I just need to wait for the Jeep to drive in. And then we can see that it looks like she's drinking our Yakira over there. And I just need to wait. Okay, here we go. Um, I think she's already had her drink. Wow. Come on, have a bit of a drink, Akira. That's what I'm waiting for. There's no need to panic. Yay! 
you guys are all so big and cool looking. Oh, wow, this is really being in the midst of the dinosaurs. Uh, could you please move, sir? Or ma'am? Yeah, this is one interesting photo op. I bet the rangers didn't really, you know, guess that this was going to be something they would have to do. Come on. Guess I can just take one photo just like this. Wow, that was expensive. I only just to move it a little bit further. Now I can see there's someone down at the water. There's someone drinking, I think. I mean, this is a nice way to make money. I myself have dabbled in photography. Nothing as good as this, mind you. Okay, I'll take another photograph just like this. Because again, it is a nice way to make money. This will be a pretty good tourism ad. Yes, yes, I'm in your way. Fine. Is that better? Now come on. Go drink some water. Please, I beg you. Enkelodocus, have water. Please tell me you are thirsty. Come on. Come on. Oh, they just look so cool. Just hanging out. Maybe she's hungry. Wow, the Shun King can run quite fast. A lot of them are thirsty today. Come on, Yakira. Please. Please. Please go to the water. Oh. Oh, no. Well, she's looking... No, she's not looking for water. Akira is doing fine. She doesn't really need water, I really don't think. But there's an incoming storm. That's that's really bad. I need to put up the storm defense things. But where? Can I? No, I don't think I can put it over here. It's always going to be obstructed by something. I suppose I shall need this smaller storm defense thing. Come on.
It looks like it should be fine here. I don't see anything. With the terrain, it looks flat to me. Hmm. Okay, she's just wandering around, and she seems about fine. Hmm, poor capacity. Oh, so people would like hotels, huh? Well, I mean, that can be added somewhere. Clearly I just need to expand a little bit. There we go. Oh, there's a little bit of fence over here. Now I should be able to put in a hotel. Okay, I don't know why that park turned out so strange. <laughs> She's roaming. Where do we have the ranger station? I think I need... I could add some more um, upgrades, I guess. And then I just have to sit out here again and wait for our Yakira to finally decide that she's going to have a drink. Well then we have the hotel and it needs us a substation. There we go, we have a hotel, and the rangers are right there. I guess we have to drive the vehicle now. I can get a photo of her eating. Okay, are you coming to go to the water now, are you?
I think that after eating she has gotten a bit thirsty. Well, that, I mean, that's what I hope. At least. Now, come on. This shouldn't be so hard. If I stand around here, around the water, then... I mean, surely I should be able to... ...get her drinking sometime. No, she's just going to eat, she's just going to be hungry, okay. Come on, Yakira. It's strange that this, taking a photo of a dinosaur drinking, is turning out to be such a difficult mission. No, she's still eating, she's hungry. Come on. Please, just go to the water. We need nice press pictures to send out that we have a captive hybrid that's doing well and being happy. Okay, I think maybe she stopped eating. She's going to go to the water. Come on, Jakira, please. Please, yes. It's hard because they're so slow. Come on, Jakira. You can do it. Don't just stand there chit chatting with the Brachiosaurus. Ooh, I think she's on her way. I think she's gonna do it. I think she's on the way to the water. Yes, I think she's on the way. On the way to get a drink. Oh, come on, don't fall to bottom the Brachiosaurus. I've been waiting for this shot for several hours. I wonder if this is how actual wildlife photographers feel. Okay, maybe I need to drive just a little bit closer, but carefully so I don't spook them. Okay, don't be afraid. Don't worry, just please go down to the water and drink. Please, I'm begging you. Don't just graze the trees, drink a little bit of water. Come 
Come on, you can do it. Don't be afraid. I can't tell, but it looks like she's doing it. She's actually drinking. So let's take the photo. Hmm, she's looking for water. She's not actually drinking. Okay. And <laughs> we have a little Stingy Morlock just checking out the jeep. That's cute. Let's see, can I go a little bit closer? Okay. How about now? Is she drinking now? Yes! What? Well, everyone is deceased. What's, well, what's happening? Unexpected. I'm receiving reports of an unknown disease afflicting at least one enclosure. It seems the Ankyloticus has been infected. Without a cure, our only option is to move the dinosaur to another of my facilities. No. Time. If with any chance of treating the specimen, you will need to transport it off island and quickly. Okay, we need to tranquilize the Akira. Then we need to move her. And everyone else is sick too. This is so sad. Oh. I wasn't expecting this to happen. Okay, at least the guests are happy. I don't know what this planned. The Dr. Wu. Do you think that Dr. Wu might have. I don't know, plan this somehow. Well, okay, poor Yakira, we're going to transport you now off island. Sending her away to the other lab. The then I would like to research this illness. I wish it was possible to... I mean, maybe it's something in the water. I did take a photograph of her drinking, so that might be it. There's something in the water. Asset being transported. Okay. They're transporting her away. I just feel so sorry for all of these ones. They're all being very ill. We need to prepare the cure. An outbreak could be catastrophic. Yes, it already is catastrophic. Everyone is ill. All of our herbivores are ill. This is a true catastrophe. However, I shall see if I can do the old hamster ball thing over here. I think it would make people quite happy. There we go, a quite long hamster ball track. Yes, I know they're called giant spheres, but I'm just going to call them giant hamster balls because that's what they look like to me. Oh, and I feel so sad for them. They're all very sick. Hmm, it looks like Camellia at least has E. coli and we can treat that. 
So let's see, who can we treat? We can treat Camellia. And Emilia. And Michelangelo. But nobody else, okay. Well, at least some of them can be treated. I, I guess that's good. And here we have our new gyro station. It's going to sell the deluxe tour. Oh no, one has low health. No. Which has low health? I guess it's all of these sick ones. Oh no! It's our Stigmologs! Oh, this is so awful! There is nothing I can do, I just have to wait while well, Dr. Wu researches off island. Oh. Poor dears. Red is still real, however, so proceed with caution. Okay, Akira, I will send you back home. And now we need to research foot and mouth disease. Okay. Oh Even no. Though these animals were extinct before my research, it's still not enough to bring them back if we can't keep them alive. You'll need to help with the cure. I put the parameters of what's needed in the files. Thank you. Foot and mouth disease. That's a dangerous disease common to cattle. Mm, what it's called. I think something like muscle and hoof disease. I don't know how they got it, but I mean, I suppose it makes sense. Their immune systems are based on, you know, ages ago, millions of years ago, having new illnesses. I mean, There are so many of them that are still sick. Oh, I can't wait for the researchers to just research this very fast. Anyway, I hope that the guests like having these gyro stations here. This is so nerve wracking. Oh, we're close to having it researched. Good, good. Yes, we've researched it. We can't let this dinosaur die, or my research dies with it. Understood? Yes, I understand. I just need to send out everyone to. Medicate all of them. I feel so sorry for them. Adding to the list. Poor dears. Come on, hurry up, no rangers. Yeah, they're both driving. Very good. Oh, that is dying! Oh no! It's going to die. I'm going to add a new, let's see, Old Ranger Team 3, you, Medicate Odetta now, she's dying.
Oh, she's going to die. Oh, this is the worst. Roxanne, no oh, Roxanne. No, Odetta died. No. 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 You just need to get rid of the body. And I need immediately. We need a new Stagmon lock. No Two dead. facility was hit deliberately which troubles me because only you and I should know about the true objectives of this place and the sabotage this disease was introduced at the embryo stage whoever they are they are trying to take us down right at the beginning ooh that's actually really worrying nothing you couldn't handle by the looks of it well come on don't be like that Every time a dinosaur dies, it's a personal failure. There's another dead. Asset in transit. No, I cannot find. Oh man. This was a bit of a mess. I could have sworn I just... Let's try the wetlands for this stegmolog because we need four of them and two have unfortunately passed away. Okay, we can release one stegmolog. Good. Good, good, good. Hello, little one. Your name is going to be Eilish or Eilish. I'm not sure how that name is pronounced. Hello. Oh no, not Magda. Trying to access the gate. Go not. Come on. Oh, you're socializing with your friend beyond the fence. That's so cute. But look, look, we have a big, nice enclosure for you. There's no need for you to start. Come on. Okay, good, you're turning around. Good. Good, good. Go on out. Right, that's a good girl. And now our second Stygimolok. Okay, let's see what your name is going to be, little one. All right, Dolores. Yep, that we are. No, don't go in the direction of the predators. That's bad. It's going to end badly for you. It's going to end in tears. Yeah, that's the direction. Good girl. 
Good go. Now we have gotten some research projects by Dr. Drew Wu. And since we have quite a lot of money, I'm just going to research them quickly. Um, well, yeah, I will end this episode here. I'm sorry that it's dragged on for quite some time, but a lot of interesting things were happening. And I hope that I will see you again soon for another episode of Jurassic World Evolution. You've been watching Castle 2 for 2, and if you enjoyed this video, it would make me very happy if you would leave a like or even a comment. And if you like this and want to watch more, why not subscribe? Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care everyone, bye bye!